right, I'd like to introduce my guest today. It's uh, my wife, Kimberly. Uh, <laughs> Kimberly, uh, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Stop it. <laughs> oh, I thought that would be funny. Um, because you were just chastising me for not... I wasn't chastising I you. I felt like you I were thought chastising that me. There was a mistake on the audio and thought, oh, I need to tell him this. Because oh. it, to me, it sounded weird. It sounded like... Something got cut off on the recording. Oh, I'm sorry. But apparently, I don't understand how. I didn't say you don't. Work under, I didn't. I never used those world. words. I never used those. I words. I don't understand why you wouldn't. I never said have you a don't. Starting under, hello I, no, 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 no. and I, introduction. I never said you don't understand how things. I never said those words. Mm-hmm. No, so you didn't. Th- those are things you're put. You're putting on me that I didn't earn. Um, how was your stay at the cottages? It was okay. It's fun, <laughs> you know. It's a lot of. It, I a, had to work. What a, what a I, yeah. What a glowing endorsement for yeah. our Airbnb yeah. <laughs> rentals. So, well, I've already it's told you. Right. I had kind of some know, weird, you, you know, there. a dog yeah. rushed me and Bear, yeah. which I didn't care for. Right, I, I didn't understand. care for that. No, you know? and I didn't care for that. And they didn't apologize. I yeah, didn't care I for that either. I don't understand. And they were grown men, right? Grown men, yeah. And, their and dog a woman walking down the yeah, barking. How close did the dog get? He came up and sniffed Bear's nose. So, and like Bear he, stayed calm? Bear stayed so calm because I kept going, off, 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 as if this dog knew right, what that command right, was. Right. And, like, you know, they didn't bother calling him back till he got even close to the road. How on earth? Yeah, how and is that? And, you know, I know what it's like when Bear takes off and you just can't get him back because right, he right, is zoned in. Right, right. But, you know, I didn't... I didn't like that at all, and so that kind of had my heart racing, and there were kids down at the lake, so I didn't want to go sit with Bear right? where there was, you know, a bunch of little kids. They were having fun, so. Yeah, how do you not call the dog off and go, oh, I'm so sorry, right. I'm so sorry, yeah. hey, he, he's and really And then he nice. did it a second time. Like, we got to the edge of the yard, and he started to come do it again, and they called him quicker. And, and that's when I just, you know, I said, thank you. Cause I kind of, the first time I was kind of so rattled, I just yeah. kept walking on right. once he, you know, but like we both had to stop in the road once this dog got to us for him to smell bear. And that's when I saw he had a little Burberry collar on and I was oh like, my oh goodness. man, those people, you know, <laughs> so anyway, so, and it, it always is a little bit. Oh. I love waking up there and having coffee. I love it. So that helps me not be scared, but sometimes I'm tempted to be scared to sleep there by myself. So I have to just tell myself, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm safe. Yep. Lock those doors. Got the lights on. Took the big dog with me this time. Um, But, you know, I'm kind of having sleep problems right now, so I didn't sleep great. And then it, I got up and went to work. I had my quiet time with coffee, and yeah. that was lovely. Well, good. You know? I'm glad. And then we I'm just glad. had a lot of, like, stuff. We, Stu- you know, I had to little, get it, little, run to the store twice, yeah, yeah. get some supplies, change out batteries, light bulbs, yeah. charge the cameras. But yeah. it is a fun little work trip, and I did thank God for a fun little work trip. It is always a little unsettling whenever you have to go anywhere by yourself. Like, I experienced that, you know? Yeah, just any time. Yeah. You get to the end of the night and you're like, oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm, nobody else is here. Yeah. And I don't know any of these people around me. Right. You know, yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. Little, always a little odd. Yeah. And you know, sometimes you do have weird guests. <laughs> yeah. You know, we've, yeah. we've, we've been around that some and we've yeah. had, <laughs> some have stayed at our place before. <laughs> yeah. So we did know that there was, you know, somebody in one of the cabins and, um, yeah. I feel like the weirdness is increasing a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like we went a long time with no weirdness, you yeah. know. Yeah. And then I feel like the la- you know, the last month really, we've had some weirdness. Yeah, yeah. We had crazy neighbors on our vacation. We had crazy guests. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I'm talking specifically about our Airbnb guests. Mm-hmm. That for. You know, we, we opened them last May. Yeah. And I don't think that we had any weird interactions at all until about a month ago. And then it started with the crazy lady who said, 
Mm-hmm. We were videoing her the whole time, and right. she had called the FBI. Right, in L.A. And her fiancé was a celebrity, yeah. and he knew exactly what we were up right. to. Yeah, that was... That was so weird. I didn't care had, for that. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't care for that. <laughs> and we, I mean, we had to call the sheriff on her to yeah. get her to leave. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then just, and that's been the only kind of weird thing. But then we've had, we haven't had any late checkout people in a year in the first year. And, and we've then had the a last couple month, lately. We've had like three. Yeah. It's been so weird. Yeah. It just has been odd, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if in the summer people get like, ah, they just don't pay attention as much. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm glad you're back home. It's I always miss home. when you're not here. You Thank know? you. Thanks yeah. for holding the fort down. Yes. Yeah. You had three boys yep. and, you know, yeah. house had to get tidied and That's right. you had to feed them. That's and right. Little guy was coming out of tummy bug yep. stuff yep. and big two still have work to do, which I, I don't think they probably accomplished much. Well, I checked on, I checked on the bigger dude a couple times and he said he was working yeah and he was even back there in that in the study room yeah um yeah little guy i'm just having him take it easy today oh he's still back yeah there. we got a live studio audience <laughs> he's just <laughs> he is taking it easy he's uh and thank the lord for delivery dudes Oh. Or DoorDash. I can't okay. remember which one it is now. But so like, they're the ones that delivered Yeah, they last said night. last night, oh, can we get pizza? And I was like, sure. So I got me a gluten-free pizza. I got them a big pepperoni mm-hmm. from Sal's. We're loving Sal's pizza. Yeah. Um, and this is like a, a a a whole new culture, a whole new thing for us. Oh, yeah. Because when we yeah, moved yeah, out yeah. here, Nobody would it was culture shock yeah. that we couldn't get anything. So and we're not there's that far. no more delivery moving you're, out to the country. You're, you're 15 minutes to you know the the middle of franklin and yet yeah nobody would deliver out here for so right. long yeah and so now to have so many things like you know doordash i can't remember who, which app it is that we use but mm-hmm. you know they they can bring vooies they can bring yeah sushi that's they can really bring nice yeah pizza they can bring all kinds of stuff out yeah. here that's been great yes um today's episode i thought it would be fun if we answered some questions oh that's right people. it's friday yep, it's friday Except i don't have an old-fashioned you don't I've we decided coffee. to make it coffee yeah okay so that's fair i needed that yeah um so i thought we could we could answer some questions uh, how many we questions got, did you get i would say we got 12 to 15 total questions now okay. what i did here's what i've learned mm-hmm. from doing when when i used to do potluck with will we would do one of these once a month mm-hmm and so you don't want to, you want to just kind of keep collecting them. Yeah. And you don't want to go through them all because next time you put the call out, you, you might, might not, not get it. So, you, so, sure. I, so I've selected five. Great. And we may not and even get to all pot. five. Yeah. We yeah may, we and we've got, got a, a little, too. got a few more that are in there. And then occasionally I'll ask people and we'll get some more and I'll throw them in the Word doc. And Okay. So, wow. Um, I really don't know where this is going. No. Okay. So um, I will. So I've got these five that I thought were fun. Okay. And um, so were I'll they just, all good, nice questions? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah, grumblers. Yeah. No, no, that none of that. To, no, okay, great. None of that. Good, none. good. Um, all right. So I don't know what this person's name is, but but their uh, their account, they're breaking steel on Instagram. I think it's a band. Okay. But they asked. And then a weird ask, A S K, ask. Asked. Asked. Yeah, but I always yeah. say they asked. They asked they A-S-T. Asked. Right, yeah. Try teaching spelling to yeah. kids. So, Breaking Steel on Instagram asks. <laughs> okay, so you're going present tense. Yeah. All right. Are there things you did as kids that current kids will never understand? Ooh, interesting. Uh, and I haven't really had time to think about yeah, any of these, you yeah. know. Um, we were not of the, we were gone all day and came home at dinner time. No, like, we were not Like, that's not how that. childhood or, even well, though we grew up in the country, like, I... I don't know. I mean, there there was a stretch of my childhood that I... I guess if you were in a neighborhood... Oh yeah, and we, and we weren't right. You know, like I think about growing up in Springfield. Okay, that is where that's the first home I can remember living in. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the first home that my first dog 
Max uh, was a beagle hound, and and I, I remember Max. It, it was some acreage. I'd love mm-hmm. to go find it. And I mean, next time we're up visiting your parents, I'd love to maybe see if we could drive over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and it was. I mean, we were we were rural. We were pretty redneck. We mm-hmm. had the above ground pool. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I've got some some crazy stories from that house. And so there, there was a stretch of time for me that I was go outside and ride a dirt bike or climb a tree or scale down what what felt like a cliff to mm-hmm. me in my little, you know, yeah. five, six, seven-year-old brain. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wouldn't, yeah, you know, I wouldn't come inside until dinner. Mm-hmm. And I'd be out there all day. By yourself? By myself. Yeah. Now, occasionally I would have a, a friend over. Mm-hmm. You know, I had uh, Paul, I had Brandon, I had um, uh, Brock, Drew. I mean, I remember some childhood buddies. They would come over. I mean, one, one of them broke his arm at my house one time, fell oh, out of a no. tree, broke his arm because oh, wow. we were climbing trees. Yeah. Um, you know, but riding dirt bikes, uh, just, you know making stuff and we also had a big holler at the back of our house and mm-hmm. so we'd go down there there was a creek i'd take my dog down there mm-hmm. uh you know we played in the woods like we i did have a stretch where i'd be outside all day yeah all day yeah yeah i don't know why i had this weird memory right before you actually even said it but um you know today's play sets in the yard yeah. are kind of those wooden you know, you got to pay to have them They're nice. put together. Yeah, like Rainbow brand. Oh, That's yeah. a brand, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, growing up, we had the metal little A-frame oh, things, yeah. you know. And so I remember doing little flips on, like, the little thing that would be the cross to the A yeah. on the end. Yeah. Um, but I remember uh, there was a couple of swings and a little seesaw swing. But then there was this, like... I don't know, like a, a swinging cart, you know, so you kind of climbed up in it. Mm-hmm. And so it was like two little bench seats with a little foot to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. Oh, we have to find no. some pictures. So, no. um, so, I mean, you could fit like four kids in it, yeah. you know, and it just felt like a little roller coaster cart or something. And you could kind of push your feet mm-hmm. and go. But we would uh, sit on the foot thing And I just remember pretending like the seat, the back of the seat and the seat seat, I would pretend that they were airplane controls. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I just, for some reason, had that memory go back of just something random, imagination, you know? And so I do think that kids, I see even our kids, even though we push them outside and um, they struggle with imagination and if there's not, extra kids here yeah you know yeah particularly our our little our youngest one who doesn't really have a sibling right next to him within a couple of years um but i think imagination is hard for kids yeah in today's it's harder screen for sure. world yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean yeah. so um but i agree like days were just long of oh man you know climbing trees you know there was a a period of time where my granny was our babysitter so we would go to her and grandpa's house every day while mom and dad worked and you know it was a great day when cousins came you know because there were more kids sure and we just you know it wasn't a huge backyard but we just had all kinds of fun doing just regular nothing yeah you know what i mean just patio and honeysuckle and meeting neighbor kids across the fence and you know what's granny gonna make and for dinner and um just loafing just loafing, loafing. just lollygagging through just the day lollygagging you know and loafing. climb a tree and play school play house yep play oh i loved playing store oh know, okay the little yep. cash register right. uh-huh. so yeah yeah yeah, I mean, I had a I had a Dukes of Hazard big wheel, mm-hmm. and like my dad in our basement at that house, I can remember he had like a motor lift. You know what I'm talking about? It's like a big thing with wheels, had a big arm on it, had a chain, and you would hook 
a motor to it and you could lift oh. a motor out of a car oh wow and so i would hook my big wheel up to that and oh. raise up the front big the big wheel uh-huh and i would slide underneath it on on oh, my back my with goodness. the tools That's and i would adorable. act like i'm wrenching on that thing so i got <laughs> photos of me you know, I'm working on my big wheel. Oh, that I'd, I'd love to see those photos. Oh, yeah. I've we, never we seen them. them. Oh, they're in the house. I, I've, I know I've, I've I have your photos, them. but yeah. I've never seen that yeah. photo. Uh, I mean, all kinds of stuff. You know, shimmying down that. It felt like a, it, it legitimately felt like a cliff mm -hmm. that I was climbing down. You know, mm -hmm. that mom tells that story about coming home one day and. And I had I had a really long screwdriver of my dad's that I'd taken out and I'd jam that thing into the side of this wall and I tied a rope around it and I tied that rope around my waist yeah. and I was hanging off the edge of that thing yeah. by the road. Yeah. I mean I just I thought I was scaling Everest, uh -huh. man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Imagination. Imagination. Yep. I wrecked many a dirt bike that that little place did you yeah so that's just normal like yeah. our boys are trying to tell me that no i wrecked oh, a mom, ton of it's dirt normal bikes. to lay the bike down oh and, absolutely oh, that's normal yeah, it is i keep it is. wanting to say it is can't we ride in a way that we don't do that i mean they're riding too aggressively but you know that's what boys do <sighs> um one story have i ever told you about the time my dad shot the fox from inside the house no okay so this is this was I've, I can't remember who I told this to recently, and they were just like, what? So there was a, there was a fox mm -hmm. that my dad spotted outside. And so he gets his twenty two rifle, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he's watching this fox. So this fox, like, he goes out the front door, because that's originally where he saw the fox, and the fox was kind of moving around the right side of the house. And so he, like, went to go kind of moved towards it and it sped up and ran around the back so he ran back and he's standing in the front doorway mm -hmm. of the of the house okay mm -hmm. and it's a pretty small house mm -hmm. and the the back door is open mm. and he's standing in the front door and he was like christopher stand in the hallway and i moved over to the hallway and he stands in the front door and shot the rifle through the house through the back through door. the back door and killed the fox oh mercy wow and i was just like that just happened oh wow <laughs> i mean it was uh, it was crazy when i was hard to it, believe i was probably like maybe six or seven when that happened right. and it was crazy then wow i was like can, can you imagine me today standing yeah. in our home yeah front door open you know with a gun shooting out the front door right that would be <laughs> crazy yeah um, okay. All right. Well, that was a good one. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next one. This is uh, Blake from Virginia. Mm -hmm. This is actually Blake Gore sent this oh, one. Oh, hey, Blake. Hey, Blake. Um, he says, you're only allowed to fry one food for the, rest, for the rest of your life. What is it? Gosh, bacon. You f bacon. Oh, that. Right. Okay. Okay. This is where it gets real tricky for me. <laughs> This is where it gets real <laughs> tricky for me because I bacon never even crossed my mind. I right. thought chicken, fried chicken. Yeah, but we've we've gone without fried chicken for many You're years. You're right, like, but we uh, really my kids don't get homemade fried chicken because well, I don't. But that's know how to do we're, it, and we're we eating stopped. Chick fil A all the time. That's true. You know? But mean, like I just never learned how to do it, and we tried to kind of start eating a little healthier years ago, and. And, so, and, but and man, we grew up. Diet. Our mamas <laughs> oh, fried, it fried all the time. All the yeah. Time. yeah. Uh, so bacon, I feel like okay. I actually don't fry foods yeah, here. It, it's now. funny. It's funny when 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 I read this, I thought about like deep frying things. So so breading a piece of chicken, breading mm -hmm. a piece of catfish, mm -hmm. dipping it, you know, frying it in oil. Yeah. I didn't think about laying bacon in a pan yeah, and that it. that's technically you're frying yeah. it. You know, yeah. but. Is it fry? Why is that frying? Why is that bacon? frying? Frying? I don't know because it's in and, frying. Are you just pan? cooking it? Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. It does kind of fry up in its own. I grease. mean, when you throw it in the oven, when you bake right, bacon, which is, I do when I'm in? doing a bit, a lot of it, because yeah. we go through a lot of bacon now if right. I serve it. So I just let the oven do it. But that's what oven baked. Yeah. How's it? How's it different? But uh. It doesn't taste any different. It's not so. like yeah, I, I'm I'm very conflicted about this because I mm -hmm. think I think you keep bacon. I, I don't know that I would technically call that frying it. Mm -hmm. Although that's what you do. I'm gonna fry up some bacon. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we'll put a pin in bacon. Okay. And And then I think Is it chicken? I, I had a hard time between chicken and catfish. Yeah. Yeah. Because I love me southern some catfish, kids. man. Yes. With some tartar sauce. Yeah. Oh, some malt vinegar. Mm-hmm. 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 Except I only did the malt vinegar at Captain D's. Yeah, you're right. I did you're that right. on that. That was you're a right. different kind of fried yeah, 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 fish. Yeah. Yeah. But I also did tartar sauce too. I understand. So I needed both. I think I Whereas may go Whereas we go to the catfish house and it's the, you know, it's like. Uh, Cornmeal yeah, fried. Yeah, yeah you yeah, know. Yeah. And I, I don't, I don't do malt vinegar. Well, we're there. married, yeah, and we're not, we're not getting divorced, right? So we're going to be together. You can pick chicken, and I'll pick catfish, and we'll have both. It of does because we do like to do a plan when yeah. we're yeah, yeah, yeah. out. We'll do so, a plan. Yeah, maybe it's those two. All right, chicken and catfish. Okay. Um, Laura Lee from Birmingham asks, "What are your favorite stories to tell about each other?" Ooh, interesting. I know, I know. That's a good one. Hmm. Wow. This needed like some prefacing. Well, are there any that just immediately come to your mind? Uh, well, the first thing that came to mind was your truck story, but you tell that story. I don't really tell that story about you. Yeah, I agree. That's part yeah, of I agree. your story. Yeah. Um, Mm, I, I love to tell, I mean, I, I don't, few people don't know this in our life, but I love to tell Ooh, the story just... of how you broke the cycle, you know, that mm. your mama said you broke the cycle, Christopher. And so I think that I've told that story a lot of times, Yeah. you know, yep. I've told the kids, you know, that that's what Grammy has said. And, you know, um, I love that story specifically about you. Yeah, you know that you you came from a lot of anger, a line of men that, you know, just some some deep anger and dysfunction. Yeah, and you were definitely headed down that path. Yeah, at one point I was. And um, but you broke the cycle. And well, your mama, God rescued me. He did. He rescued absolutely, me for from sure. That. Yeah, yes. he yeah, all the glory to him. He did that. But I just remember your mom. She told us that. Year after year after year, you yeah. know, um, would put it into cards and stuff. And because she was so proud of you, too. And yeah. But I loved that. Uh, I like to tell the story about how we met in high school. I mean, we're high school sweethearts. Yeah. And and it is 100 percent true that the first time we really ever interacted with one another. Uh-huh. I didn't care for you. No, you didn't. Mm-mm. You shoved your finger and wagged it in my face <laughs> and blatantly said i don't like you chris thomas yeah in front of the lockers I yes did. you did yeah and i was like oh, game I'm on in love. <laughs> i'm in love <laughs> this yeah. pretty blonde girl is just telling me how much she hates me <laughs> i was like well, i'm I- gonna marry her <laughs> yeah well it, to my defense i had two good girlfriends who were both just you know i don't know that you were playing them but like they no, just were both no, no, beside no. themselves over you well, I mean, and there was just you know. such discord and i thought he ain't worth that he you ain't know? nothing special yeah you know <laughs> little I was just private like, school boy coming over here yeah i was know? just i was just new I you know. know i think i was just new yeah for sure and you know uh, but you did not like me Mm-mm. at all. No, I, I thought you thought you were something. Yeah, I probably did, you know, I think you did. and it, but it wasn't real. Yeah. You know, it's false bravado. Absolutely. I was yeah. 15. Yeah. Cause now we know yeah. what teenage boy. Yeah. And, uh, but man, uh, you know, I do love to tell that story. Mm-hmm. You did not like me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, and I, and I genuinely thought that's the prettiest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> She just talked to me. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then you know, we did, our, we, we developed a friendship. We were very good friends. Yeah. Well, I had to be friends with you when you were dating my best friend. Sure, sure. And so I, I had to, like, be around you a little bit. Yeah. And so I got drugged to your house a little bit. And actually... I liked your mom a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's when I true. met her, sure. I thought, "Oh my goodness, what a delight!" 
And so I... But you, you started got growing to like, on me, yeah, yeah, and we developed like a friendship. Yeah, yeah. And then y'all didn't work out, and and then you had a boyfriend, and he was an idiot. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, she's got to leave this dude. Like, what's what's going on? Uh huh. And then finally, his idiotness, I think, spilled over where you you know you were just like, I got my heart broke. Yep. Yeah. And then I was just, uh, yeah. And I had to wait it. I had to wait it out yeah. because you know it was all that dramatic teenage. Oh, oh the dumb stuff. I just got out of a a, a serious relationship. Yeah, I mean, yeah. how long did you and that dude uh, date? Oh my word, three months. Three months. Oh yeah, so dumb. <laughs> I just got out of a serious relationship. I'm not ready to be attached to yeah. anyone again. This is why we don't like, let no. our children I date till they're 17. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Just to yeah. try to avoid the drama. We're just trying drama. to avoid the drama. Try to yeah. avoid the drama. Yeah. Uh, but but I did, you know. I started pursuing you, being mm-hmm. friends, yeah. hanging out, going yeah. to movies, going to the mall. Yep, you, you know, were. Just you were a good being friend, friendly, and we had a lot of fun. We did. Yeah. And then uh, finally, I don't know how many times I asked you out on a date. Really? I mean, and a I lot. just said no. Well, you, I mean, you remember this, right? <laughs> you were there. I, I don't remember saying no to dates, but oh, probably yeah. saying yeah. no to like being more than friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. It's like I really wanted to start dating you Mm -hmm. and you you were like no Mm -hmm. no Mm -hmm. and i just had to wait it out yeah just wait it out yeah so i like that 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 is a fun story it's a fun story Mm -hmm. uh let's see what's the time on this Uh, 25 minutes i think we can do these last two okay uh jessica from tulsa asks do you have any books that you reread hmm i do I did too. I did too. I do. Yeah. I mean, uh, only one that has been hugely impactful for me in yeah. the last probably three years I've read it, probably three times. And I've got two of the boys going through it now, uh, making them do it for school, but it's Heinz Feet on High Places. Yeah. So maybe one day we'll have an episode about that. But, yep. That's a good book. Uh, my word. Yes. Yeah. Great book. For me, um, there are, I, you know, I have a few that I have reread. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can think about, there's a book called The War of Art mm-hmm. that I really love. It's short. It's by a guy named Stephen Pressfield. Um, and I think it's great. It's just awesome. Uh, and in fact, I'm in a, uh, like a small business book club and we're reading that this month. Okay. So I'm going to have to read, I'm going to read it again. Um, there and it's it's fantastic. I cannot recommend that enough. Uh, I have re- I've reread a book called The Old Man and the Sea mm-hmm. by Ernest Hemingway mm-hmm. a few times. I think it's fantastic. It's mm-hmm. it's a, also a very short book, but a great story. Mm-hmm. Um, I have you know I've I've read To Kill a Mockingbird a few times. The one that that instantly came to mind for me though is. The World's Largest Man by Harrison Scott Key. Mm-hmm. It, I think it might be my favorite book of all time. You've and, read it more than once. Oh, yes. Okay. I think I've read it three times. Okay. And I don't remember when it came out. Maybe 2014, 15. Mm-hmm. Um, I love it. I just love it. I love it so much. Mm-hmm. It is funny. It, so it's his memoir. It's, it's, he grew up in Mississippi. Mm-hmm. And he was more of an artistic guy. He's a he's a professor at Savannah College of Art and Design, SCAD, and he's an author. So he's more he's artsy. Know. Yeah, he's more artistic yeah. and you know smart and witty. He, but he, a lot of the stories are about him growing up with his father. His father being just this very classic burly southern football and hunting and he was like he was not into football and he was not into hunting mm-hmm. and he, and and the stories are just hysterical hmm. but it's a lot to deal uh it deals a lot with about the relationship between him and his dad mm-hmm. um and so there are tender moments there are sad moments there are funny moments uh i just think it's great mm. i love it okay uh but that's the one that instantly kind of came to mind for me <clears throat> and then Here's the last question. Troy from Asheville uh, asks, he said, you asked Willie this, so I will ask two, any hidden talents? I'm a great car packer. 
You are very good at packing a car. Um, you are. It's like Tetris. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm really good at time estimation, like how long it's really going to take to get something done. Mm, okay. I think we underestimate a lot of times. Uh, well, why do we underestimate if you're so good at estimating? Huh? No, I'm saying I think that <laughs> when we take on a project, we oh, okay, think it's okay, going to be got something. It, got it. Yes. And I'm like, mm, no. I get what you're saying. Yeah. 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 So yeah. you're good at doubting. <laughs> is what you're saying. <laughs> Uh, I doubt you can do it in that time. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know what else. Uh, so I've become time. a grammar geek in my homeschool mom. You have. Mom, you have become a grammar and geek. And so I can. I love to diagram sentences. Oh man, you can diagram the yeah. fire out of yeah. some sentences. Yeah. So I like to diagram scripture and. Yep. Helps me see and understand it. Yeah. A little bit better, deeper. Um. I think I'm a I, I think I'm an above average whistler. Yeah. You know? Mhm. Joe Levitt is the best whistler I've ever personally known. Really? Oh my goodness. Huh. He is a magician with the whistle. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, he's so good. Okay. So good. Uh but I think I'm better than average. Okay. You know, so I think I'm an above average whistler. Yeah. Um hidden talents. Um I think I'm really good at making mailbox posts. <laughs> <laughs> just damn, you damn are damn adequate damn. at that. A lot of people wouldn't be nah. able to do that, but hey. I, no, I'm not adequate at that. Sure you are. You can do it. I mean, the first one you ever did I mean, took it, like way too long, <laughs> spent way too much and money. It cost $400. Right, yeah. <laughs> but crazy. you learned. and Were you out of town when I did that? I think so. Yeah, it I was early so. on in our marriage. Yeah, it was, it was in house. Hendersonville. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think you were traveling for work. Maybe. And I was like, oh, we need a mailbox post. And I just thought, well, I can do that, you know. <laughs> and, I mean, they were selling them at Home Depot for, like, 79 bucks right, or whatever it was. Thought, I could save some. Yeah, sure, I can yeah. do that. And um, <laughs> and I went and bought lumber. And I bought, you know, screws. But then I was like, well, I need a drill. Like, I got to do. Or maybe I, maybe I didn't. Did you have to I, buy I had, a had saw? to buy a saw. I, like I bought tool, I oh, bought yeah. power tools. Oh yeah, of course you did. You went to all do this in. Thing. Yeah, golly, is so crazy. Yeah. Uh, so that was a joke. I'm not good at building those, but I think whistling is probably my number one hidden talent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. Okay. So there you go. Okay, that's fun. Was that five? That was, was five. That four? Yeah, okay. that was five. Okay. Um, so we'll just we'll end it there. Okay. For today, well, maybe we'll fun. do that like once a month or something. Yeah, you know, little Friday variety yeah. show. Ask us anything. Okay. Uh, I think people... We may or may not answer. Yeah, may, may, may or may not. <laughs> may or may not. May or may not. May or may not. Yeah. Um, but today we did. We answered these five. Okay. So, all right. If you have a question... If you're out there listening and you're like, oh, I, this is fun. I got I got a question. Uh, I'd like to hear this smart lady and this idiot answer these questions. Uh, you can either shoot us an email, holler at madesouth.com, H-O-L-L-E-R, at madesouth.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, or you could hop on Instagram and like shoot a DM or something like that. You know, mm-hmm. it's easy. It's pretty easy. Yeah. And all I ask is that just give us your first name and like a city and state where you're from. Yeah. And there it's you fun. go. Yeah. All right. Well, that wraps up this first edition of uh, Ask Us Stuff. Ask Us Stuff. Ask Us Stuff. Okay. I may call it Ask Us Stuff. A U S. Well, that's not interesting. Oh, Ask Us Stuff. Oss. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I appreciate you doing this. You're glad, welcome. Glad to have you home. Oh, thank you. All right. I love you. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Love you.